my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Wow! Can you dig it? What's up, you giallo freaks, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a fantastic Italian horror flick lined up for us. It is Dario Argento's 1971, just classic giallo flick. It is Four Flies on Grey Velvet. And this one is a really classy, really strange, but a hell of a lot of fun and definitely entertaining. So let's dive right into this one. Here is... Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Four Flies on Grey Velvet is an intriguing Italian giallo thriller, directed by the king of the genre, Dario Argento, and injected with a warped sense of style and violent substance. Stemming from the visual pizzazz of the early 70s, and uncontrollably seedy in its abhorrent content, this gloriously deranged Italian production does an excellent job in crafting up an interesting yarn, filled with ridiculously memorable characters, and an oddball killer that is truly unique and expertly crafty. Cruel and unusual and all kinds of fun, Four Flies on Grey Velvet is a stupendous third film for the acclaimed director, and the closing entry in his Animals trilogy of giallo greatness. The film follows a musician named Robert Tobias, who after being set up in the death of an unnamed stranger, begins to be blackmailed by an elusive maniac in a peculiar mask. Threatening to murder Roberto and his wife Nina, the masked assailant begins brutally murdering everyone around the couple in a mad dash to drive the two completely out of their minds. Determined to take his life back and uncover this sinister plot, Roberto takes to the streets and slowly starts to unravel the mystery behind all this unrelenting death and mayhem that his life has become, but could the answers lie closer to home than he ever could possibly realize? Michael Brandon takes center stage as Robert Tobias, the troubled drummer whose life begins to spin wildly out of control. With a strange, sympathetic tone and a quiet, charismatic disposition, Brandon does a subtle job in the starring role. He's contemplative and curious to the mystery, but not a man of action or a traditional hero type that you would typically see in these types of giallo thrillers, and for that makes him a rather intriguing centerpiece to this unusually unorthodox narrative. Playing the everyman, Brandon does a wonderful job and his restrained approach to the character allows for other outside influences to bring on the strange qualities of the film, making us relate more to his plight and confusion in this sordid tale. Filling in the life and spirit of the flick is a collection of wild and expressive characters who all inject a much needed sense of fun and fright into this highly deranged production. The memorable performers are Mimsy Farmer as Nina Tobias, Roberto's timid and frightened wife, and partner in survival. Jean-Pierre Mariel as Gianna Arosio, a flamboyant private eye that's determined to solve Roberto's most troubling case. Bud Spencer as Godfrey, aka God, Roberto's vagrant friend and wisecracking problem solver. Francine Reset as Dahlia, Nina's sexy cousin and lover of Roberto and his crafty ways. Callisto Callisti as Carlo Morosi, a shady con man who's mixed up in this nefarious plot. And finally, Oresti Leonello as the professor, a homeless would-be detective and friend of Godfrey who helps in on the case. Filled to the brim with color and personality, the entire cast does a remarkable job in fleshing out the tone of the piece and truly bringing the story of murder and blackmail to vivid life. The mystery and intrigue of the film is its true crowning achievement, as we are thrown into a madcap narrative where anyone could be the killer and anyone can die at any moment. The camera work and overall direction of the film is top notch, showcasing the creative mastery Dario Argento has behind the lens, and his impeccable ability to weave a tale that is fresh, original, and completely captivating. Though the gore and bloodletting is quite tame for the filmmaker, the twisting story truly makes up for it, with unexpected moments and genuinely engaging characters. Wildly unpredictable and brimming with style, this is one Italian giallo production that does a lot with a little, 
and still manages to come out on top as one hell of an enthralling thriller. In the end, Four Flies on Grey Velvet is a brilliant and violent giallo masterpiece that's as intriguing and captivating as they come. And there you have it, you crazed killers. That is the highly enjoyable and just downright fantastic giallo flick, Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Uh, one of my favorite Dario Argento films, just a really good giallo, and the characters are really off the wall and damn interesting, so it makes for a really hell of a great combination. And just a great Italian giallo flick. But guys, that's it for me today. I hope you like that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I would love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.